What is going on everybody? So today I am on the test branch and I'm going to be looking at the new component system and I'm going to be going to the caves and checking out those. It looks like the caves right now in the, the testing branch have little numbers so it shouldn't be too hard to find them. But right now what I'm doing is I'm going to run around and uh, see what I can get from barrels, from boxes and see, uh, see how the component system is going to work out for uh, a new guy running around. Now I'm going to go hide in a bush and I'm going to show you guys the uh what it takes to make the the new items so right now it looks like a lot of these just basic common things they just need the the regular stuff you don't need anything special like the code lock it's the same the the metal door is the same the uh the furnace it's it's all like it was before the xp system and all that let's see how is this oh, yep the medical syringe is the same as well now I think the only big things that change, yeah look at the high external wood gates, now they need 5 gears, which you can find in, I'm sure, barrels and gun crates and all that. The uh, the high external wood walls are still 1,500 wood, let's see, you need 15 gears for the mining quarry. And look at this, armor door, it, it was lowered to 25 high quality metal, I think they raised it to 35, but now they lowered it back to 25. And you still need five gears. And the high external stone gate, they made it 3,000 stone and 10 gears. Now let's see what they did with the high external stone wall. Still 1,500 stones. What I think they need to do is either make it something else like 4,000, 5,000 stone per wall. Or else you can expect giant clans to wall off rad towns. Uh, because they're gonna want to control the red towns because of course the only way to get components is to break barrels and open boxes So I think making the high external stone walls raise up a little bit that'll uh, that'll help a lot Let's see. It seems like all these are the same Yeah Large furnace is still the same the bed. Oh, you need sewing kit for a bed now So a lot of the the common things are Are normal. Let's see for the armor. It looks like Rope, you're going to need rope for that. And then it looks like you're going to need sewing kits for most of the armors. Yeah, sewing kits for anything that uses leather or metal frags. Yeah, sewing kit. Wolf skull, that's the same. Yeah, sewing kit, sewing kit. Let's see, for the armor. Yep, sewing kit, sewing kit. So you're not going to be level, have to be level 36 or some bullshit to, uh, get these at all. You just need two sewing kit, 50 leather, 20 high quality metal, so it might actually be a lot easier to get armor now. And it looks like they added some uh, some new skins, like the big grin for the mask, so that's pretty cool. Tools. Tools are looking the same. You don't need anything special except for the salvage picks. It looks like you need a metal blade. Medical, that's all the same. Weapons, here we go. So for the assault rifle, it looks like for most of the assault rifles, you're going to need a rifle body and some metal springs. Yeah, MP5, you're going to need SMG and a metal spring. Uh, the bow, the bow's the same. The spears are all the same. Now for the swords, it looks like you're going to need a metal blade. Pistol, you're going to need metal pipe, metal spring. Yeah, you're, it looks like for basically every weapon, you're going to need some kind of metal spring. And every assault type of weapon, you're going to need a rifle body. Yeah, and then... The water pipe has been also nerfed, because now you're going to need a metal pipe, and apparently metal pipes are not easy to find. Metal pipe for the shotgun, more springs, metal pipes, yeah, you're going to need tech trash for any of these uh, laser sights and uh, hollow sights. Rocket launcher is only 10 metal pipes and 60 high quality metal, so if you're able to find some metal pipes, you'll probably have a rocket launcher pretty early in the game. Nice. And then the ammo, ammo's all the same traps metal spring and gears for the snap trap those aren't going to be easy to make anymore gears metal springs auto turrets uh same thing misc and there we go so that's most of it so it looks like a lot of the the things have been tweaked to where you need like all of the advanced things look like they need um stuff to build of course but all of the the lower tier tools and bows and such doesn't look like they're going to need much to build so it looks like early game is going to be easy and then the the bigger more advanced stuff is going to need a lot more would you like to explore stuff. this cave with me 
I will explore the cave with you. Let's uh, let's explore the cave with this me. guy. Yeah, he threw a rock at me. Oh, and as you can see, he's still attacking me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> And when you talk, look at the little mic up top of the screen doesn't have the bar anymore. <laughs> Jeez. Fuck that guy. He almost killed me. Hey look, there's little there's little nodes in the caves now. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's uh, start exploring this. Yelling. Yeah, I think he's above us. Yeah, definitely. So uh for the new caves. Oh look at this is so cool. There's uh someone screaming oh, at us. Curse. Who knew that caves would oh, scream at us? <laughs> it's pretty dark in here. So the caves are looking really cool. So I'm gonna guess that... That over here you're not gonna be able to build... Yeah, I hear that. It reminds me of the, the forest, the game. So for the caves, there's gonna be a lot of different variations. What's the forest? Oh god! Oh! <laughs> So I shouldn't I shouldn't jump down there then, huh? <laughs> no, no. I'll you. Oh. Well, it looks like for this cave there is a something down there that comes up and then you you jump on it and you ride down. And it looks like this will will bring you down there. But uh heads up, don't jump don't jump down the big hole. <laughs> Do not jump down the big hole. Yeah, there's a bucket down there. He's screaming on top of the bucket. Nope, he did not get back up. <laughs> well, it looks like this cave has that. I don't know what's down there. I can't get down there because the bucket's down there. So there must be another way down the cave. Let's go check it out. Yeah, let's go this way. It looks like there's uh, when we came in, there was two ways. So let's go this way. Let's see if we can get down there. It's, the caves look really cool. They have the uh, the roots hanging down, the uh, little rock stairs. Here's a bucket. I think I can jump in this one. Closed door? Okay, let's see. Let's ride it down. Yeah, there we go. So we're riding down the cave in a bucket. That's cool. That's really cool. So I guess the only way for anyone to get back down here... Well, Hey, what the hell is this? Uh, waterproof tarp. I'm gonna guess that's for the water catcher. So now I'm down here even more. So the caves are really, really big. The caves are extremely big. Now look at this. This is where you can build. Do you see these little wood stumps going around this square? The wood stumps go all the way around here. All the way around here. Now this is where you can actually build. As you see, someone already put a foundation here. So, you can build within these little square areas inside the caves. So, if you want you want a relatively big house down here, I mean, it can't be too tall. But, uh, and it might be a pain in the ass to actually get out of the cave. But you can definitely live down in the caves. And you can have a an okay-sized base. It's not going to be something that can withstand hundreds of rockets or anything. I'm sure someone will find out how to build a an ultimate cave. We can leave that to Dean Central. But if you want to build down here, then here you go. Just find these little squared off stump areas and that's where you can build. Let's keep exploring this cave. Let's see where this takes us. And so the it's just like little little passageways that keep going around. Lots of stalagmites, stalactites. Little glowy things. It doesn't look like there's anything down here that you can really pick up. Like maybe they can add mushrooms in the future. That'd be pretty cool. Just like some cave some cave shrooms. Can we jump up here? No, we cannot. Some kind of Oh, it looks like there's a a hole that you can jump down. It looks like you can find holes in the ground or something and jump down. And then yeah. Cool, okay, so there's it seems like there's multiple ways into caves. Let's keep going. Yeah, these caves are massive. They're like giant mazes. They're really they're really cool. And my torch broke. Okay. Let's keep going. Now what's this? 
It looks like they have some uh, some parkour going on. There's a node down there. It doesn't look like I'd die if I failed the parkour, so we can try it. There we go. I made it. Not too hard. <laughs> Just a little, like, uh, little parkour area to have some fun in the caves, I guess. Let's keep going. The cave just keeps going down and down, and here we go. Here's another area. This one's a lot smaller. This is a lot deeper, but a lot smaller. And, uh, it looks like you can even, like, build right here and block this area off, because it's not really centered. But it looks like you can build, like, a... by two, maybe? Some kind of small building. I don't know about living down here. It'd kind of be a pain in the ass to get up and down. But I guess if you want to be a cave dweller, you're all for it. It looks like we can also make like a little cave village if we wanted to. I hear someone else. I'm sure someone's down here. I'm really, really far down under the uh, the earth now. Let's keep going though. See what else is down here. Just some some pretty little lights. Hey, wait! I think I found my buddy. Here he is. Hey, I found him. <laughs> there. <laughs> So here's a way up, I guess. Yeah, we just open the door and it'll take us all the way back up there. I might take that back up. But, uh, yeah, just a reminder, don't, don't jump down there. Because uh, you're going to end up like, like Johnny something here. Okay, so, uh, here I am. And it looks like someone found a building area and <laughs> blocked off this part of the cave. So I guess I can't go any farther. Yeah, they blocked this part of the cave off, it looks like. So, I guess if you build, you can you can block parts of caves off and people have to find another way around. But, uh, this is a pretty big cave. Lots of, there's parkour. I know that there's cave entrances where if you go in there, you can actually fall in some spikes and, like, die automatically. I wonder if there's anywhere... Or the... the it'll, it'll crash. Okay, heads up, but the game is going to kick you. Because it thinks you're hacking because you're like, you're flying up in a, uh, in a bucket. Hopefully that is, uh, that's fixed. <laughs> because, uh, well, people, are, it looks like people have found gun parts. Okay, let's see what we get out of this barrel. Let's see if we get anything interesting. It dropped wood, so a barrel now drops wood. Interesting. So it seems like the barrels drop more than just components now. <laughs> I got a, a good old 32 wood out of that barrel. Let's go see if we can find some more. Maybe I can go to a rad town and uh, grab some more of that stuff. Okay, I'm coming upon a rad town. So what I heard people talking about is that everyone would start off in the the bottom of the map and the only way to find like the better components would be to move their way up, up and up and up. But I don't think that's actually a thing. I think all you have to do is find boxes and barrels, and it's like a random chance to get items. So let's see if I can find anything, and I'll show you guys what I get out of them. Okay, there's a couple boxes up here. Let's see what we can get from them. Looks like they're placed in uh, some weird areas, too. Okay, so from a box, I just got some regular old pistol bullets. Let's see what we get from over here. Give me something. Something good. Nice. What the hell is this? A selection of gears. Okay, so I got gears. I'm not sure if you get gears from barrels, or if barrels just give you the, uh, the simple stuff. But what I got is gears, and with gears you can make the, uh, the armored doors, gears, gears, and then the, uh, the fences, and the, the mining quarry. I don't think you need gears for weapons at all. No, you just need the pipes and the springs for the weapons. Okay, so, it seems like you get gears from weapon boxes and crates. Let's keep searching. Let's go find a couple of barrels and see what we get from those. Okay, I found cave number one. Let's check out cave number one. I think... Seems like there's eight different types of caves, maybe? I, that's the highest number I've seen is eight so far. So I'm gonna guess that there's at least eight caves around each map. And I think they're... They may connect to each other. Some might connect to each other. I'd have to do a little bit more running around to find out. Found a sewing kit from a barrel. So it looks like... And it's times five, so one barrel can actually give you a good amount of sewing kits, so it doesn't seem like clothing is going to be too hard of a thing to get. How's it going? Just checking out the new cave. He's probably going to kill me, but uh, let's see. Let's, let's go and see what's down in cave number one. Right now it looks like, oh, what's this? This is different. Oh, man. 
There's a little parkour in here. Look at this. In this cave. Wow, what the hell is this? It's like lava on the on the wall. And then it disappears. And then there it is again. That's cool. It's on my rock. <laughs> so, uh... That's interesting. And then there's stones here. So yeah, it seems like every cave is different. That's cool. It seems like they put a lot of work into the caves. So there was a little bit of parkour to get down to that part of the cave. And then here's this thing again. It looks like this might be a, recur a recurring instance. If you're good at parkour and you're getting chased by someone with a spear or like a melee weapon, this would probably be the place to go. Just run down into a cave and uh, hop over that. I mean, if you fuck up, then you're screwed, but here's someone. Someone built a little house down here. Nice. And there's no way into that other part of the cave because <laughs> they blocked it off. So it seems like people can manipulate the caves, which is interesting. So let's... Uh, Looks like that guy has to do a little bit of parkour just to get to his house every single time. I'm wondering if there is a way to actually get out of this cave now. Or if you go into a cave and you're just completely screwed. Doesn't look like there's a way up. Now, unless I'm missing something, can you climb these? Oh, you can! Okay. So, if you look on the wall and you see these, don't think, oh no, I'm trapped in a cave because I just jumped down here. If you see these on the wall, climb up them like ladders. Nice. Okay, they they perform exactly like ladders do. That's cool. That is that is nifty. And then you are out and you are safe. And then here's another another little uh elevator. So it seems like a lot of the caves have elevators in them too. That's what I'm going to call them, are elevators, little bucket bucket elevators. And then these uh down here, they give you they're smaller. They're just like the ones in the uh the mine shaft. They're smaller, but they give the same exact amount. Yeah, it really looks like the caves aren't too spread apart. There's number four right there, number one right there, number eight over here. So there's like a little a little triangle of of caves. Also, without me having to play for, for like an hour just to get a bow. Look at this, I've been on this server. I have been on this server for a good 15, 20 minutes. And this is the first time I'm hitting a tree. Boom. Hunting bow already. Hell yeah. And then just everything's here. Everything is unlocked. That doesn't need anything special. Beautiful. I'm liking this already. I am liking this already. Early game is definitely going to come a lot faster. But I think later, later game is going to take a long, long time to actually get well into. I feel like people, clans might actually not be running out so often with their weapons anymore. That might promote roof camping a little bit more which is not really a good thing but you're definitely going to see a lot more roof campers and and if you're a naked don't expect to not be killed just because you're a naked because now everybody can have a component on them and a component can be very valuable now a component is very valuable now i got a blade and it looks like a machete blade but i think the blade can be used to make Right here, you don't need a blade for the machete, but you need a blade for the salvage sword. And it looks like you need a blade. Yeah, four metal blades for the long sword. One, and you need road signs for the salvage cleaver. Okay, interesting. So food boxes, they of course just still contain food. Let's keep going. Let's go find a rat town. Now look at this. I can already make a hoodie with what? Why, why am I able to already make a hoodie? So I can make a hoodie because it... The hoodie only takes 80 cloth on one sewing kit. It doesn't take metal frags anymore. Okay, interesting. And they added a new hoodie. That looks sick. That looks awesome. But uh, I can make a hoodie already. Let's craft that. And then for the pants, all I need is to find 40 more cloth. And uh, I can already be uh, geared up with some, some clothing already. And I still have four more sewing kits that I got from just one barrel. So clothing is not going to be too, too difficult to actually get at all. The armor, on the other hand, that might be a little more difficult to get. Because shorts, what the hell are these? These are new. <laughs> shorts are new. But these, like, I don't, I don't know how difficult it is to find road signs. The metal face masks aren't actually going to be too hard to get, actually. I'm sure... Once people... People are actually going to be running around with metal. 
metal armor probably more than they'll be running around with uh, road sign armor because I'm not too sure how rare road sign is but if it's like any type of rarity then people are just gonna say screw it I'm gonna go hit a couple of barrels get some some sewing kits cook up some metal and there you go full armor already so it might need a little bit of tweaking maybe a little bit harder to get the the high tier armor maybe add some kind of like metal plating that you have to find that's that's what I'm suggesting for the armor because right now it seems like armor is really just no big deal to get at the moment so I'm sure by probably the end of day one of wipe you'll see people running around with like crossbows and metal armor or uh, something of the sort water pipes and in full metal armor okay I'm making some shorts maybe uh <laughs> they'll warm me up a little bit hey those look pretty cool they did they warm me up a little bit I'm still still slowly dying but that didn't help at all either so let's make a lot more of those but I like the shorts they're pretty nice they look pretty cool I don't know what they do it seems like they give some pretty okay defense as well that's nice I wonder what's the defense for the shorts and the defense for the pants I don't know I'm gonna I'll test those out but the shorts are definitely new and I like them I like the look of them okay let's see what we get from this barrel a metal blade I have three metal blades so it's not gonna be too hard to make yeah it's not gonna be too hard to make melee weapons let's keep going this way let's try to find all the barrels we can I see another one let's see what we get from this a tarp Okay, so tarps and metal blades seem to be the most common thing to get. Maybe I can get this airdrop and see what you get from airdrops. It's right there. Holy shit. Okay, well, I'm going to try to get it. Might as well try to get it, right? Let's hit some barrels before we uh, get over there. Let's see what we get from these. Rope. Another tarp. And a metal blade. Yeah, so it looks like you're gonna get the early the early game stuff from the from the barrels. I think the rope is used to make the crossbow as well. I'm not sure about that. I'll check after I get this. If I get this. And uh Yeah, so early game stuff and maybe rarely you'll get something really good out of a barrel. But for right now I've just been getting the early game stuff. Oh shit. Geared people. Oh, this guy's geared out the ass already. Let's just, uh, let's get a check in here before... Okay, it looks like you don't get any components. <laughs> so my conclusion of the component system is that I like it. I like it a lot. It looks like early game is going to be pretty easy to get to. Uh, end game is actually going to be easier to get to than with the XP system because you don't have to farm for hours upon hours just to get some, some crappy MP5 get up to level 25 or anything like that the metal armor is going to be really easy to make um i think they should buff that up a little bit the metal walls or the the high external stone walls they really need to buff that up or you can expect clans of 15 to 20 to wall off entire rad towns for the fun of it so they can get the components it seems like the melee weapons are going to be easy to make clothing is going to be pretty easy to make um so i'm sure as you saw before this is pre-release I think it's been out for a couple days, so I did expect people to have weapons and armor already. As for the caves, the caves are really cool. I really enjoy the caves. They're like giant mazes you can build down in them. They have really cool designs. You can climb up stuff. It's, I mean, it's not even like a, a dull just area to get stuff from. I mean, it's like really fun to explore, build down there, have a good time. There's parkour. Lava on the walls got a sewing kit times force from a barrel and so clothing's not gonna be hard to make so conclusion I like the component system. It can use a little bit of tweaking, but uh, in the end I think I think it'll be fun But we'll have to wait and see how uh, everyone else plays with it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a good one